team, so today we'll be making a crib made out of cardboard. I bought this cardboard. It's a 24 by 16 by 19. I want it to be long enough to fit her silicone baby because it's 18 inches long, I believe. So this is the board that's going to, this is the cardboard that's going to be used for her crib. Our first step is we're going to cut off the top tabs, all of the tabs from the top of the box. So I'm just going to cut on a folded line. I'm using an exacto knife to cut it. I tried the other one and it was not working good. So, well, it did not work for me. So I'm using an exacto knife to cut along the line. Awesome. I'm going to reinforce it with some tape also just to make sure. she's going to be laying at so we want to make sure she doesn't fall through <clears throat> i got it folded and the, the uh, folds cut off i put tape right here because it has like a little punch out thing but i want to keep the whole box now i'm gonna cut this is going to be the back end of the crib so i will want these sides right here to be cut now a little more so for my next thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cut it down to about right where this large is at, just so it can sit below the headboard. This is the headboard of the crib. Okay guys, I cut four inches off of three sides right here. Like I said, this is gonna be the headboard. Now I'm about to do the railings just for these three sides. I'm probably gonna do two inch railings for each one and and space them out like two inches apart and then i'm gonna leave a little grip you know the little bottom rail i'll probably do two inches and then an inch and a half at the top and what i do is i kind of measure from the inside of help make me help better cut it so like I said, I'm going to do two inches for each railing. And it's like each one. Every other, every other part I'm going to cut. Alright, so we'll be back when I'm right. done. Did one and a half from top to bottom, left that space, and then I did two inch rails, and then the edges are gonna be where I cut every other um, rail out. And you're gonna see how I'm, how it looks after it's finished. I'm gonna do this side and this side, and I'll be back to show you how one side looks after it's cut. So here's a picture with all of the rectangles cut out of it right here, 
And next, I'm going to try to just sand these edges down just to make them a little more smoother because there's they're a little rigid. So I'm going to just try to sand it down, give it more of a smoother finish. Alright guys, so now that we sand it down the crib, now we're going to use this paper that I purchased from Dollar Tree just to give the tops and the edges a smooth finish. So I'm going to, I mix glue and water and I'm going to put it on the crib and stick the paper up there. And hopefully when I paint it, it'll give it a smooth finish and not show the rivets that's in the, on the crib. This is day two. Um, I'm going to start painting the krill. This is right. This is going to be the paint I will be using. It's a semi gloss. And after I finish, I will show you how it looks. This is like my third coat of paint. I'm painting, as you can see, it's getting done. Okay, so I have Michaela painting some of the crib yep, um. for her silicone baby. It's coming along really well. All right, guys, here's a look of the crib so far. Um, I was trying to use the paper to cover this up, and I should not have. I learned my lesson, but it really didn't matter because I'm going to put something over this. But I think I'm going to go back in. And I'm, I decided I found some glitter tape that I would like to get and I'm going to put it on the edges, edges of this so it gives it more of a smooth surface because even though it kind of, I'm not satisfied with the look, I want it to be more um, smoother. But for the background of the headboard, I found these at my local hobby shop, I mean my craft shop. And I'm just gonna stick this on the, in the background for both of, on these sides. So I'm about to go ahead and get to that. And hopefully it turns out well. All right guys, I'm gonna have to cut some of the second one because it'll be too wide. So I'm gonna go in and go ahead and do my measurements to make this cut on it. So I just inserted that part for her headboard and I'm kind of excited because it came out way better than what I thought. All right guys, so I got this tape right here from Michael's, it was on clearance. And just to try to help clean up these edges, I'm gonna use that to go around it. And as you can see, I did one already and this tape is not really sticking the way I want, want it to stick, but this is how it looks so far. I'm going to do that to all the rectangles right here, and I'll come back when this is done. Alright guys, here's the crib so far. It's coming along pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I cut out a piece of square just to fit in the bottom of the crib, and then I'm going to take this white felt piece and then kind of glue it down. I'm going to glue it down over here. And then I cut out four small squares. I'm going to make legs for the crib. I'm going to show you how it looks right now. I have it out there drying. So these are the four squares. Once they dry, I'm going to stick them on the crib. Alright guys, so here is the crib that is that I designed for Kylie. This is the finishing touches. I know I did not go step by step. Uh, this is the legs. After I detached it, I used hot glue. And all I did was use some of the leftover paper this the glitter paper that I had and attach that to the legs and also I know I'm gonna have to do something maybe eventually about the tape this is a tape I bought but 
I definitely would not recommend it because it does not stick like I thought it would stick. It should. It's like really, it doesn't do what tape should do. It's not as sticky with the board. But this is Kylie's crib that I had created for her. And there's Kylie in her new crib. And I'm gonna make a pillow and a cover for it. So stay tuned for that. And this is how her pillow looks on her. Really cute, simple, and easy. So as you can see, Kylie is fast asleep on her new crib. I think it turned out pretty well. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye dream team.